What's up guys, welcome to our top 5 acoustic guitars of 2021. What is up guys, my name is Guillaume. And I'm Chris, welcome to our acoustic guitar top five of the year 2021. It's, um, it's, it's been a year. It's been, it's been a year. It's a, I, I, I seem to recall that it's a bit more varied than yeah. last year in terms of price ranges. We have a little bit of, uh, of everything and we have some extremely acoustic -y things. Oh yeah, I, <laughs> I can tell you are <laughs> a little bit distracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's start with that one. What is that? Okay, this is the uh, Taylor GT811. GTH11, first try. <laughs> uh, GT what? stands for Grand Theater, so it's a. Uh, it's the small version of the grand guitar. Yeah. <laughs> and it sounds like it. It's super, like, it's a weird experience at first. Um, it's like, it's got that super balanced, lot of high end, lot of low end thing, not as much push in the mid range, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but kind of smaller. And it's like, I don't know, it's, but it's extremely enjoyable to play. It sounds really good. Right. A little something like this. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, it just sounds so sweet, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't have uh, an extreme amount of volume, nope. but it does sound exactly the same. Like when, at the end, when you played really quiet, yeah. it sounded exactly the same. It didn't yeah. sound dull or thin or whatever. And then, uh, as you hit the strings harder, it just sounded the same, but louder. Even with such a small size, it's, it's got like a massive, like sort of blooming of the thing. It's not as woody. Mm -hmm. But it's got like that Andy Powers bracing patented projection thing. <laughs> like, you know, it's yeah. for its size, it sounds, I mean, so good. And it plays incredibly yeah, well. Yeah, I, I was about to ask, is the string tension as low as it looks like? It, it's very Hang low. On. The frets are a dream. The neck is satin. It's just about as incredible of a playing experience as you'll ever have. Also worth noting before we skip onto the second guitar is that is the most expensive of the bunch this year. It's not great for no reason. You're gonna have to pay for that quality. But if you're looking for a high-end acoustic guitar, in my opinion, you can't go wrong with it. Yeah, yeah. Talking about the tone and the woodiness. Yes. We shot a video on these guitars, the new generation series, and um, what we told is that they sound exceptionally woody. Like not fancy, not modern. As if they were made of wood. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> no, but that's the perfect um, opposite. Yeah, like that's, that's why true. I told like, that's true. it's so in your face how, how old school and woody they sound, yeah. which is something some will love or just don't want, whatever, yeah. it's, it's a personal thing. But that's the exact opposite. That yeah. sounds modern, super balanced, beautiful, warm, all of that. Yeah. And this just sounds raw and more like just yeah. woody, funny enough. Uh, let me try to play similar chords. What was it, like A, D, G, whatever it was? Z the end. It was Pearl Jam again, so I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> He's in a bit of a Pearl Jam fever right now. It just sounds so different than that guitar. Yeah. It sounds a bit more open and yeah, just more, I don't know, traditional, woody, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely its own thing. It's it's raw was a good term for it. I like that. Uh, but also, 
Yeah, I don't know. You've got the, the pig fishing port. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's easier to get out your Player pigs port. Player port. <laughs> in case it falls in. Uh, uh, and this is, by the way, the G00, yeah. which is the smallest body shape in this series, the Generation series, also and most affordable. it's also the most affordable. So we're talking about around 1K. Uh, Dollars or euros, the, that is. Yeah, yeah. 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 So um, I love simple acoustic guitars. I love uh, easy to play acoustic guitars, mm. and especially I love that traditional tone. So yeah. um, I immediately went for this guitar out of that bunch <laughs> we had here, and he immediately grabbed that one. So there you go. Oh, it's shiny. So, you know, <laughs> like, I'm not much smarter than a bird, really. <laughs> it's like, oh, nice. <laughs> If you want more info on the Generation series, we made a whole dedicated video with that guitar, the 45, the big go one with a yeah, different name. 200. <laughs> I'm not good at names either. <laughs> What's my name again? Don't say it, don't say it. Don't say it. I mean, that's, that's just a Blink-182 song. <laughs> oh no, it's the age thing. No, the yeah, age true. <laughs> It's so weird to hear he play the, the exact same thing five times because we know it sounds different to you guys right yeah. now, but for us now... We don't have any speakers here installed, so we, we heard the guitar acoustically and uh, it just sounded the same, yeah. obviously. But I kind of remember how the voicings were and I know that the last one is the... Like, the, uh, the, the yeah, 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 the distorted oh, magnetic so you, pickup you watched tone. My, uh, you watched my demo. Of course I did, and in case you missed it, if you want to know more about this guitar, uh, we have a video on the channel, you'll find it. Uh, but what is that guitar? Channel. What is that guitar? This we didn't is even... the Acoustasonic Jazz Master, which is the first one with a humbucker, the Strat and the Tally head, yeah, same accordingly, uh, single coil, and uh, this is the rockiest version, I guess. I definitely and, um, prefer the sound of, I, I remember from the demo, preferring the sound of the pickup, yeah. like the voicings of this one yeah. better than... Also the, the piezo. Yeah. Tones. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Me too. Me too. I, by far, this is my favorite until now. And um, yeah, this means that they probably worked on that piezo yeah, as sure. well, the preamp and everything. And uh, having a humbucker there, it just makes the guitar a bit more versatile. Yeah. Because if you want a guitar that's great for acoustic, like stage acoustic tones, mm. and you have a couple of songs where you just want to have something more rocky or whatever, yeah. it just makes a lot of sense. When the Acoustasonic series came out yeah. many years ago with the, um, the Strats, the first yeah. ones, I was thinking, okay, uh, that's promising, that's fun, that's versatile, that's great for working musicians, but I'm not sure if people will actually buy yeah, them, like a it. You know, big yeah. amount of sales and whatever, because it's a bit too expensive for those who like gadgets and fun, versatile stuff. Yeah. Um, and it's just, and I, I was proven the, wrong, the like all kinds of wrong. wrong. <laughs> it's a great series and people love it and for a good reason. So um, it just had to be in a top five. Yeah. Talking of top five, there's one in there. It's the other old ball, but that's something we do usually as yeah. well. We always have like one nylon string guitar in the mix because they, they need some, some love. love. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is a, a Hofner. 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 It's a German guitar, <laughs> and it's not the most affordable one. It's around 600-ish euro at the moment. Uh, price changes, of course, so check the links it's below. It's the um, HGL9. Nine, which yeah, is nine. the series I love most. Oh, is it you the, know why? Is it the nice, like, the good green, wood? Uh, the green, green line. Green yeah. line, that's, that's why, it. That's GL, yeah. Uh, these wood, whatever yeah. you are looking at, are European wood. So these are not exotic yeah. wood, no uh, rosewood, no you know, mahogany and everything. It's all wood that grows fast, that is local, no crazy transportation, blah, blah, blah. And you will hear it, it sounds exactly how a classic guitar yeah. should sound. I'm gonna play the song that you expect me to play right now. <laughs> because, like, I haven't learned Every any- Every time. I haven't learned any new one, so. <laughs> If you know, you know. <laughs> 
That, sp that, that spacing oh, is man. absolutely horrible. What is that? Horrible. A B, then the, yeah, the fifth, yeah, and like, then what is it on the E? So. Okay. What? Yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah. I literally cannot do it. And the thing is, like, I learned that song on the only uh, nylon string guitar that I have, and it's like a three quarter. Because, okay. like, that's that my first yeah. Yamaha yeah. C240, like, the one, the guitar that everyone has, somewhat. <laughs> Somewhere and, like, behind. It's a three quarter, and so every time I play Nylon Strings, it's on that one. So, like, this feels like a massive step up. Well, uh, all my respect, man. I mean, I've, I've played a couple of, of like, high end Nylon Strings, and honestly, play, playability uh, wise, <laughs> struggled <laughs> on that one. Uh, this is definitely up there. Like yeah. the fret work yeah. on that is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that was the first thing I realized when I tuned the guitar first time. Yeah, um, understand? It's yeah, like, yeah. This feels. I mean, you can probably really see good. how shiny they are. <laughs> like it's really, really impressive. But again, I'm not a classical guitar player, so this is like just about the paramount of what I can do with nylon strings. But I hope it was good enough of a sound example uh, to to give you guys an idea. It's a great guitar. Um, let me let me give you something that's a bit more familiar. Give me the nylon. <laughs> this I'm assuming it's guitar number. Is guitar number five. Can you grab it? Oh, it's hefty, yeah. Well, it's bigger. <laughs> it feels. So, I've only played the Taylor, and, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this feels like. Well, this is a dreadnought size. It's normal. <laughs> You're just not used to it. Yeah, because you have the neck pointing down. If you write I it know up. what I'm doing. It <laughs> just feels sure? very big right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, what a song. Nice. So what is that thing? The best song in the world. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Goodbye. This is the uh, Harley Benton CLD60 SC, uh, no, 60 SMCENT. <laughs> Because all we needed is more letters. <laughs> Almost got confused with the 60 S C M C N T S E. <laughs> Pro <No>. Max. <laughs> Pro Max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not the sexiest of name, but it's definitely like uh, the the value guitar yeah. of the day. Yeah. Like obviously, if we were only to do like a top five top seller acoustic guitars, this guitar in five different colors would <laughs> probably. probably be our top yeah, five. Yeah. Like this is the most purchased. Uh, guitar, acoustic guitar on the website. It has a pickup. You can yeah. you can plug it in. You can gig it, uh, and it's super affordable. I mean, if beginners guitars were this good back when I started twenty some years ago, <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I remember pulling frets out of mine. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> sorry, they might misunderstand what I'm saying. <laughs> pulling frets out, like, literally, of the guitar, and then super gluing them back in wow uh, this so yeah no it's definitely nice uh it's it's weird coming from the tailor yeah i not think, I think we, messed, we messed up the, the order <laughs> not gonna lie, here. Like, this is a different <laughs> experience but uh this is a super good beginner guitar and it definitely deserves its place on the top five just for the sheer fact that you guys keep buying hundreds and hundreds and thousands of them and uh, i mean i get it it's not a lot of money for something that's not a toy because if you think about it, uh, yeah. you can get 
way more gadgety, unserious stuff for more money, yeah, and yeah. it's an actual instrument, and that's um, that's good to have because not everything has to be expensive. Let's be honest. And uh, about the fact that the Taylor and the Gibson and all good things were like so different. I mean, they have to be, right? Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, yeah. I'd be so disappointed <laughs> yeah, yeah, by no, those guitars sure. if this brought the same amount of crazy tone and whatever. I mean, we're talking from ten. Two twenty-five times the price. Of yeah, the guitar. yeah. I mean, it should. It better be any good. You know, what is your favorite here? I mean, Taylor. it's an obvious <laughs> question. I can do with that. Well, the thing is, like, I would say the Taylor just because of playability and because how sweet and kind of lovely it is. I was but expecting it, that. From but you. <laughs> I'm fairly sure that if I heard the guitars recorded, like if I play the video back, okay, I might go towards the Gibson more. Really? Because it's the okay. kind of sound that I prefer. It's not as, you know... It's you mean the, the style of the Exactly, ah, yeah. Right. And it's okay. the... I mean, the guitar played fantastic last time. It sounds great. Uh, it probably works better in a mix as well mm. than the Taylor, which has a lot of, like... Super sweet frequencies that will disappear as soon as you have like anything around it. If it's a, like a bigger it, you know, band, like, yeah, with keyboards and yeah. horn section and whatever. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. yeah, no, but but yeah. yeah. What about you? Yeah, I was super like when we did the Gibson Generation series video, yeah. and I rewatched the the final video. I I had to call the sound guy. He was like, "Wow, I'm really happy with the tone." And he was like, "I didn't do a lot. I just balanced the mics, and that's it." And I was like, yeah. really impressed by the tone. So. To me, it's still the same. I like uh, understatement kind of guitars anyhow, mm. like simple ones, solid colors. If it's an acoustic, I love it. If it doesn't shine, so I, I love the Generation Series uh, already because of that. And the price is, is pretty fair too. So it's like a, a win-win, like all the good things in one series. And I love small guitars, so it's the G00 for me, for sure. And, and the uh, is smaller, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's weird, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, but smaller guitars are cool. All right, enough of this. Which guitars did you guys like most? Was it on our top five or was it not even on the list? Yeah, it's only five guitars. All right, we, we already see those comments coming. We welcome them. Where's the we Yamaha? Where's them. the, where's where's this where's one? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. only five of them. Let us know which, uh, which one was your favorite, which one you would have added to this list, you would have you know, placed on there and for what reason. Is it super popular? Is it just super cool? Is it your personal favorite? Let us know. You guys take it easy, see you down there in the comment section, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, <laughs> all of the things. Give us a like, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.